Hello students, today we will talk about constituent of simple sentence. Uh, though it may sound a bit difficult, but you know, when you will practice more and more, I am sure that you will understand it in a better way. So when you see a sentence, sentence consists of a noun phrase and verb phrase that you see whatever sentence you talk about so the example is given a boy planted a tree a boy planted a tree in this you see a boy this is a noun phrase example of noun phrase and the rest part planted a tree this is an example of verb phrase which you can see here and here so you see whatever sentence you are talking about a sentence sentence consists of we are talking about uh, sentences we not uh, you know infinitive and all so normal sentences if you see then you will find noun phrase and verb phrase so your first you know task is to identify or segregate noun phrase and verb phrase i hope you have understood till here okay now when you talk about a noun phrase let's discuss uh, initially i'll say noun phrase a noun phrase you know the head of noun phrase is noun that you need to keep in your mind when you see a noun phrase there has to be a noun so noun for example you know everybody knows about it may be a thing place or animal it could be anything so aman is an example of noun here and noun phrase if you see a boy the example uh, what you talk about so a boy boy so this noun phrase can uh, you know it has a determiner that is a and a noun boy this you have to keep in your mind another example we can see a noun uh, example is there a handsome boy a handsome boy so in this you see a is a determiner handsome is adjective phrase and boy is an example of noun so this you see that these three examples noun phrase how to identify the noun phrase that there has to be a noun the head of noun family is noun and if there is any determiner any adjective phrase you have to segregate them next we can talk about an example is given here the example is there his first three gifts you see his first three gifts now when you are asked to segregate them you are asked to identify the constituent so first you see his so his is a determiner that's a possessive okay you can make three diagram like this what you you need to take you know whatever um, constituents you see accordingly you need to make diagram then first first is used as an ordinal ordinal and three that's quantifier and noun is used as gifts here so this way you can make your tree diagram that you need to know that so whatever sentences are there first task is to identify the NP that is noun phrase now we'll talk about another example so that all the five intelligent student of my class so see it's a, a example of noun phrase seems to be very uh, big phrase it is so noun phrase uh, you see all that's a all the so all is used before the the is used as determiner so you see determiner there and it, we call it predeterminer which is used before the determiner predeterminer so the first predeterminer is all then come determiner that's the then uh, quantify that you see five all the five and intelligent intelligent is used as an adjective phrase so adjective is intelligent here then we see students of my class so students student is noun student and of my class so of of is used as preposition here so entire this is known as a prepositional phrase so you can when you are asked to divide the sentence you can divide them you need to see each and every word what is it which part of speech is it and accordingly you can divide next example uh, okay 
verb phrase when you know and when you understand how you can identify the noun phrase the different constituents of noun phrase then your task is to identify the different constituents of verb phrase so here we see an example is given laughed l a u g h e d laughed so laughed when you see uh, one auxiliary and verb you see when you are making an auxiliary you see tense which tense it is past second form is used and the verb you see verb is laugh here so this way you can segregate the constituent of verb phrase and second example is there met the students m e t so when you see or when you segregate the constituent of this verb phrase you see one auxiliary is there uh, which auxiliary that's at second form so past you can write tense and past and the the verb verb is meet uh, we use second form here so first you wrote the tense of that is past and then the verb main verb and then np met the students np is the students or you can also divide it like determiner uh, determiner the and uh, you know n is students so however you want to divide you can divide but you need to know how you actually can I I identify the constituent of the verb phrase okay one example is uh, given here gave her a book so gave her a book that's a you need to see identify which which tense is it which form is it is a so first is auxiliary auxiliary tense when you go go through it you see past form then verb is there what verb that's give and then her a book her is a verb uh, sorry noun and uh, another np a book so this also you can divide into determiner and noun if you want to otherwise you can write a book also so if i'm talking about how to identify how to segregate the constituents of verb phrase in the given sentences next prepositional phrases if any prepositional phrase is there how you will segregate the constituent the example is given in the room so in the room prepositional phrase you will divide in this way first is preposition that is in the room that's noun phrase the room okay fine next is near the bank near the bank you see near is used as a preposition and np that's a noun phrase the bank if you want to segregate in indivisibly then the and bank can be segregated similarly in this the and room so that's all up to you how you do it then uh, adjective phrase when you talk about adjective phrase example is given very hot so adjp it's adjective phrase and very as you know that that's used as a degree so degree is very and adjective is hot so this way you can segregate then segregate the constituent of adjective phrase and if it is like this only cold so that's adjective phrase adjective and cold this way you can divide or segregate the constituent of adjective phrase now next you see that adverb phrase so when you are asked to identify the constituent of adverb phrase you see adverb phrase slowly is an example adjective ad adverb and slowly is uh, constituent and another is example very slowly when you see very slowly so you see degree is very and slowly is used as an adjective here so two constituents are there one is degree another is uh, slowly okay fine next example okay now actually when you can identify this or segregate the constituent of these uh, different parts of speech first you need to see that's very important and p and vp noun phrase and verb phrase when you can divide uh, the sentence into two then a noun phrase what is given in a verb phrase you know identify all the constituent so now let's see these uh, t, t diagram how to make t diagram that's that is the important part okay all right so when you talk about uh, we'll see this example 
ही ईट्स मैंगो ओके सो दिस इज अ सेंटेंस यू नो एंड यू फर्स्ट यू डिवाइडेड इट इन टू पार्ट्स नाउन फ्रेज एंड वर्ब फ्रेज एंड नाउन फ्रेज यू सी ही इज यूज एज नाउन एन पी इज एन एन ही एंड देन वर्ब फ्रेज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट ईट्स मैंगो सो ईट्स मैंगो यू सी फर्स्ट यू सी दैट फॉर्म एक्ट मेन वर्ब इज ईट एंड ऑक्जरी or tense you see which tense is it that's present and then mango noun phrase np it is n mango this way you need to identify the given constituent whatever constituents are there and segregate accordingly so i hope you have understood how you can segregate how you can identify the different constituents in the given sentence that is he it's mango next example we can talk about happy farmers visit the farms okay happy farmers visit the farm so first of all you in this sentence you see we every sentence we need to divide in two parts np you need to identify np what is noun phrase and what is verb phrase so happy farmers you see happy farmer is noun phrase and visit the farms verb phrase so noun phrase if you see happy is used as an adjective and farm, farmers is used as noun so adjective and noun that's uh, np now when you talk about uh, vp verb phrase if you see so that's visit the farms so visit the farm you see a uh, verb present that's a uh, present tense so here actually you can uh, talk about visit it is visit v i s i t visit and that's the farms is used as determiner the is used as determiner and farms is used as a uh, noun so this way you can divide the sentence the teacher sat on the sofa another example you see the teacher sat on the sofa this sentence you can divide in two parts np and vp np you see determiner and noun the and teacher so the is determiner here teacher is used as noun and verb phrase if you if you see sat on the sofa so sat is verb preposition and this is pp means on the sofa is used as prepositional phrase so preposition is on then the sofa is noun phrase so determiner is there and n is sofa so this way you see this example the teacher sat on the sofa can be divided accordingly and you can make type tree diagram accordingly okay next example okay these are the three sentences his uncle won the match now i'll ask you to make a tree diagram and practice how you can do it the mother put the chapati in the tiffin the mother put the chapati in the tiffin so for your convenience let me tell you in this when you divide this sentence his uncle that's np and won the match that is vp and accordingly you divide and make the tree diagram the mother put the chapati in the tiffin the mother is used as noun phrase and put the chapati in the tiffin is used as verb phrase next the cook prepares the meal the cook prepares the meal so now you understand how you can divide divide it make a tree diagram and you can talk to me afterwards thank you very much for listening